far away, guys, but um, yeah, I'm recording. Let's go. Right, okay, shoulders down. Let's do 10 big, deep squats. Take that bum right back. I'm doing some one to ones with two ladies in the 70s, they're so cute. And then um, teaching them how to do a squat yesterday, one of them did it perfectly. She was so proud of her little self. So it's like, ah, and um, two, and one. And then just fire up through the obliques. Down just for eight, alternate. Seven, six, five, wait for the sun to come up, out of four, three, two and one and then in two out for four morning zoe three morning emma two and one and then the other side four three two and one we'll just do that again just for the girls so again deep squat three two a morning dawn it's not emma for ten for nine for eight for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, and then alternate, alternate like that. One, two, three, just to get the body warmed up. Four more, four, three, two, one, and then just four again, and three, and two, and one for the other way, four, three, two, and one, well done. And then just take it back like this, just to warm up a little bit through the hips. For eight, seven, six, five, we're in for a nice weekend. Three, two's my birthday next week, so we? <laughs> Okay, no problem. Don't be making me a week older. <laughs> okay, we're going to walk out. So let's try and get a little bit of upper body strength. So we're going to walk out into a plank. We're just going to try and do two push-ups. Walk back up times four. So chin to chest, hips backwards, gently down. If you need to go down on your knees, you can. But try not to. So wide press up. Take it down, one. Take it down, two. Back in again, take the hips up. Walk it back, gently up, and let's go again, chin to chest, hips backwards, mobilising the spine, and stretching the legs a bit. You can try and do a tricep one, I find it really hard in, pull, in proper plank, and back up, and all right on my knees, back again, all the way up, and again, chin to chest, mobilising down. Walk it out, chest one comes wide, the elbows come out, one, two, this is the original Pilates push-up actually, that's what they do, walk out plank into a push-up, last one, chin to chest, take it down, like I say, you can always come down on the knees guys, and again, take it one, take it two, bring it back in, hold it, just hold, and then take that right hand up to the ceiling. So as you open up the chest, bring the shoulder blades together. Back the other way. And again. One more time each side. One. And two. And back. And gently back. I was in bed for half an hour last night. And gently up. I'll rock and roll. Okay, so we've got hand to inner ankle. So that move, yeah? You can just do that if you want. Or we're going to try and run it. Okay, so three times 30 on this one. So try and run it if you can. Three, two, one, we go. Oh, let me 
happy runner. So on the next one, we're going to take a nice easy action. Oh, I did the steps three times yesterday morning. Whoa. Woo! Okay. Three, two, one. So you can just do this one a lot easier, but it's still nice, you know. Oh, yeah, it's really nice. So if you're doing this one, get the knee right up if you're not doing your running one. to bring up filled my up and forgot to bring it in. Let's go again. Three, two, one. Deep squat. Deep squat. Jump. Nice, nice light landing. Two. Think ballerina, not elephant. Well done. Just take a little 
last stretch. More for me. <laughs> what have we got in? Lovely. Another quad one, I'm afraid. Okay. We're going to do one, two, one, two. Yeah? Not too complicated. Okay, three. I don't know if, yeah, start in that position. It's easier, I think. So come down. Three, two, one. One, two, one, two. About that pace is nice. One, two, make sure you're coming into a full plie or squat. Fourteen, you can rest if you need. Fifteen, 
Ten to go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Lovely clothes out here today. She's down in uh, London. Well, South. Seeing family and friends. Four. Three. Two. One. Make sure you take a big stretch into downward dog. Take the heels down. Just hold it. This is your little interval. I forget about interval, so. And then well done. Then come down onto the floor. We'll get ready for that forearm one. So slide the scapula down. Draw the belly in. If you push your pubic bone down to the mat and send your tailbone towards your heels. This is quite a nice stretch just to stretch out the hips. But we're not going to do that. We're going to work through the core. So come up into side plank. Uh, sorry, not side plank, forearm plank. Take the right foot out, back to centre, left. Try and keep the pelvis as still as you can. It's really quite difficult not to rock a bit. But just keep that core engaged for four, five, six, seven. Come into shell stretch if you need any time. Or downward dog for a little stretch. Ten. Knee straight up. 
for two. Try and row back a bit. Row back, lift. Down, row back, four. Row back, three. Row back, three. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Row back, eight. Row back, seven. Row back, six. Row back, five. Row back, four. Row back, three. Row back, two. Row back, one. Keeping the same hand. Yeah, and we're just going to go into a lunge and a tricep. So, tricep, lift. Tricep, lift. For three. For four. For four. For three. For two. For one. And again, we go eight. We go seven. Watch that front knee. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Straight to the other side. Just take a little circle through that one. <sighs> okay, quick pace, guys. Three, two, one. Low as you can. That elbow comes in towards the hip. For two. For three. For four. Five. Six. Seven. Don't let the shoulder hike up. Four to go, four, three, two, one, well done, into down, row back, up, down, two, so just getting a little bit of work through the shoulders as well, keeps us strong, five, that's six, that's your seven, eight, row back, nine, row back, ten, if you do them one at a time, it gives you an indication. If one shoulder's a bit weaker, this left one, as we know, is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well done. Straight into that tricep, tricep and a lunge. Keep your shoulder, uh, your arm high, your shoulder low. Down. 16, 15, challenges the balance as well, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, well done, place that weight down, we might need it again, we will see. Just take a little sort of deltoid stretch. We're back into some cardio. And the other side. This next one's where I want to put on them fat and small. You know, take that turn around. Gotta turn around. You know which one I'm going to say. I'm just going to fold that way. Just cut it up. So, it's a... Body dog, a squat, and a whiz around. You don't have to whiz around if you don't. So it's like this one, two, down, turn, one, two, down, but obviously better than that. <laughs> that was just totally straight. So let's go. Three, two, one. One, two, full down, turn around. One, two, full down, turn around. You can just do that. Yeah, or that and that. And a little combo. I like that when I read my 
Maxi Pod még lesz a maguk face all night. Woo! Yeah, half nine on a Friday night. Okay, do okay. Three, two, one. One, two, you can just down. One, two, you can turn. Just watch if you get a little bit of dizziness when you turn. I like to maybe have a little turn and a little rest. And turn. Tuck 
now. Sweaty and horrible in this one. <laughs> okay, you meant to look sweaty and horrible if you've worked hard. I'll scrub up well tonight. <laughs> okay, come down onto the floor, guys. And we're just going to do a bit of abdominal work. So, maybe, you know, five minutes or so. And then we'll do our nice stretches. Can you see me all right? I think you can. You know all these anyway. You're pretty good. So, just let's do two roll-ups, take a breath in. Remind ourselves of our principles as we take our arms forward, ribs come down. We just reach forward, nice little hammy stretch. Restack, back again. Breath in. Another little hammy stretch. And then just sit up. So if you've got a ball, you can do the next exercise on the ball if you just want a bit of comfort on your back. If not, just do it on the floor. We're just going to go straight into scissor. So remind yourself if you're on the floor or the ball of your pelvic imprint release. So imprint, lordosis, that arching of the back and that narrowing. So you just want that full pubic bone, hip bones level. Take the leg up. If you're on the floor, you might want to do scissor in your imprint and not neutral. I want to stretch, stretch down the street, so I'm going to have a flexed foot, but you can have a pointed foot if you want, and just bring it as low as you can without letting the pubic bone edge forward and without letting your tummy start to go. You can put your hands underneath your head, you can lift up if you want, a bit harder to stabilise on the ball with head and shoulders away, you can keep them down. Some people, I love scissors, I don't find it that difficult, but some people really don't like it. So if you don't like it on your back, you can go straight into a single leg stretch. Always do something that feels good. Doesn't feel right on the back, don't do it. Keep the core engaged. Don't squeeze the glutes. These two lovely ladies who came yesterday, they were going into, when they were kind of, Bringing the navel to spine, they're squeezing the glutes at the same time. We don't want to do that. Yeah, so just choose, or maybe do a bit of both. And for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Kind of like a cool down, isn't it? Three, <laughs> two, one. Back into single leg. If 
You've not been doing a single leg, do it now. So it's 11. 10. 9. Keep the core engaged. Ribs down, able to span. 7. with a lovely guy the other day, came for a massage, only 17, six foot five rugby player. And bless him, his hip flexibility was appalling. His foot was miles away from his bum, he ended up getting hammy stretches. So I know that can happen to some people. So we won't do pigeon today, we'll come over, we'll go straight into glute stretch. Yeah, so just push that knee away, just gently lift up, keep pushing on the inner knee, hold. Not done too 
too many glutes as well today. Squats, yeah, does work the glutes, but it works the legs, I think, more. But obviously, if you've done isolated glute bridges, you really need to do that. Grab the back of the leg, flex the foot, hold it, turn the foot in, hold, back to parallel, turn the foot out, in, out, in, out, and circle, 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 circle back, and just pull the knee in, check it down, go into the other side, let that knee come away, like a right angle, push in, Work, grab the back, and again, just flex it, hold it, bring the foot in, foot out, in, out, in, out, in, out, pull it in, feet into, uh, together, into soles of the feet together, just into a little butterfly stretch, nothing major. Uh, we're going to do then, so the hamstrings don't uh, cramp for some people in pigeon. We're just going to turn it over, hopefully it won't. There always is a potential for the hamstring to cramp when you're pulling, um, when you're stretching the quads. So push the pubic bone down, draw the belly in a little bit and just pull that heel into butt. Yeah, and this is just a lesser, you know, not quite as intense on the hamstrings. You can push. The hip bone into the mat is a little bit not very comfortable, but stretch it out through the quad. And inside. So if you push your pubic bone down into the mat, it increases that stretch. I'm much tighter in my back leg, so this for me feels nice. If you're used to this move, you can do it, but only if you feel comfortable going into a back bend. As you just come up, stretching the pecs. Pushing up. For some people that's awful, for some people they love it. And then gently down, straight into a deep shell. Body there. 